Steinberg is proud to introduce the latest incarnation of our industry-leading audio editing, montage, and mastering workstation, WaveLab Pro 9. In WaveLab Pro 9, we've consolidated all of the workspaces into an elegant, single-window concept. The key to this streamlined approach is the new ribbon and tab system in the center of the screen. The ribbon provides convenient access to the most frequently used tools and functions of WaveLab Pro 9. We'll come back here for a closer look in just a moment. Just below the ribbon, you can see another new organizational feature called the File Group. File Groups provide centralized access to and control over the many components that can go into a WaveLab Pro 9 project. It's a container for grouping content together that belongs together. And WaveLab Pro 9 also allows you to divide a file group into two or more windows, which lets you view critical elements side by side. And the Project Manager provides an overview of your project structure. It helps you see the file group and allows you to drag and drop files from the Project Manager to the Audio Editor or Montage. In this example, we can see one file group that contains a tab for audio editing, and another tab for the main audio montage, and a third tab for the associated batch processor. Now keep an eye on the ribbon while we navigate the file group. The ribbon will automatically adjust to provide the correct tool set for the area that you're working in. WaveLab Pro 9 also provides flexible tool windows, which you can configure however you like. Then we have the new and improved master section. You can click into these areas to add plugins, and this can include the amazing new master rig with all new functionality in easy to configure modules and full mid-side support. We'll get into the details of this new capability in another video. WaveLab 9 also introduces a powerful new resampler section for swift and seamless sample rate conversions. The master section also provides flexible monitoring options here, as well as a wide range of speaker configurations. Now let's take a closer look at the ribbon and how to streamline your workflow. The first tab is the file menu page. From here, you can control all of the components in your project. The file page is subdivided into functional areas. The various functions are grouped logically and organized by these colored sidebars. The info page shows you all the details about the currently selected file. And you can edit a lot of this information right here. This page also lets you create new files if you want to add additional audio files, montages, or even entire CDs to your current file group and project. You can browse files to open or input, and you have direct access to all of your output-related functions such as save and export here. You even have direct access to your preferences, and this allows you to adjust any global parameters that you like. Or you can gain quick access to critical systems like VST connections or remotes. The next tab on the ribbon is the View tab. The View tab provides quick access to controls which are common to the audio montage and the audio editor, such as zooming, cursor functions, and playback. And again, notice that the ribbon automatically reconfigures to accommodate the area that you're working in. In fact, if you select a highly specific function like batch process, the ribbon automatically narrows down to just the edit area since no other functions apply to the batch process area. For example, when I'm editing a batch process, I have tools to select which files to process, configure their execution, and what to do with them when they're finished, and so forth. But if I move back to the Montage tab, the ribbon provides entirely new tools appropriate to that function. And notice how the tools are logically grouped by functions such as Zoom, Cursor, and Clip. And if I jump over to the Audio Editor, WaveLab offers me tools for cutting, snapping, and clipboard functions. Once you become familiar with the various tool sets, you have the option to fold these tabs by clicking the caret icon. This saves screen space by leaving only the tab names in view. When you click on a tab, the ribbon unfolds until you make a selection, and then it hides again. And you can click the caret again to unfold the tabs into a static view. WaveLab 9 also allows you to create up to four control windows with dedicated groups of tools and meters. This is especially helpful if you're working with multiple monitors and you want to keep some meters in view at all times. Once you have your workspace configured the way you want it for a specific activity, you can use the workspace menu to save it as a workspace preset. Then, use the workspace menu to recall that control window setup as needed. You can also use the workspace menu to access several factory preset layouts, which may help you move between various setups.